25 May 2020, and uh, Douglas Monzora has totally taken over. He has outsmarted Tokuzani Kupe and is set to become the MDC president after the extraordinary Congress. So today I want to show you how he did it and what it means for Nelson Chamisa. So firstly, Douglas Monzora has managed to convince all the provincial structures. That is Harare, Blawayo, Mutare, Mashingo, Midlands, and I can name quite a number. He has managed to convince these structures and they are now on his side. They've managed to be on Douglas Monzora's side. Whilst Tokozani Kupe, who is the acting president of the MDC, has been stuck in Harare. She's not been able to make any headway with the structures of the MDC. So as we speak, Douglas Monzora no longer needs Tokozani Kupe. Tokozani Kupe has got only a small number of people that support her who are based in Harare with her, who are hoping that they will get into positions because of their proximity to her. But as we speak, Douglas Monzora is heading to become the new MDC president after the Extraordinary Congress. Let's look at some of the other things that he has done. So, in Tokzan Kupe's office, there was Nikadzino and Witness Dube. These guys were working for Tokuzani Kupe. And Monzora has managed to grab these two guys. They are now working for Monzora. You saw Nikadzino last week issuing that statement. That was on behalf of Monzora. And then Witness Dube is now the campaign manager for Monzora in Matabeleland province. So it's all coming together for Douglas Monzora because slowly he's establishing himself as the leader of the MDC. MDC structures are starting to recognize Monzora as the next leader of the MDC. Now let's go to the MPs, senators, and councillors. MPs, senators, and councillors are afraid of losing their positions and they've started to talk to Douglas Monzora. They've started to come behind him to support him because they do not want to be recalled. So what we're having now is people surrounding Douglas Monzora seeing that he's the one that can take them forward and sidelining Tokozani Kupe and this is working. To make matters worse, there were people that were appointed by Nelson Chamisa that were not in the structures. So someone will be appointed in Masingo, but is not from Masingo. People in those places, they were very unhappy about those appointments. There are many appointments like that. People who were from outside the country who were appointed into structures, the, the, the national structures in Zimbabwe, these people are very unhappy, the people in the local structures, and they are taking this opportunity to hit back at Nelson Chambisa's appointees by supporting Douglas Monzor. So Monzor is heading to become the new MDC president after the Extraordinary Congress. I do not know how Komichi and Kupe are going to be taking this new development where Monzora is now the front runner, in fact, to be the MDC president. So the next thing that is going to be done, and this is from my rebel sources, is to recall some key figures from parliament. And this will be done very, very shortly. As I explained already, there are letters that have already been written of recall, to recall people from parliament key figures that support Nelson Chamisa. But that is not all. Before Congress, plans are already underway to make sure that Nelson Chamisa 
does not manage to come back after Congress. So this plan includes possibly taking Nelson Chamisa through the court process for fraud. So people like Nelson Chamisa, Charlton Wende, there are certain monies that they've not accounted for. That, way, that came from parliament. Employees have not been paid. These guys are going to end up facing their day in court. This is the plan. So the plan that is there is to make sure that Nelson Chamisa doesn't come, doesn't show up at Congress. If he doesn't show up, if he boycotts the Congress processes, after pro uh, Congress, Douglas Monzora and his new executive, they will now be having access to the books of the party and any amounts of money that will be missing, this will be reported to the police for fraud or embezzlement charges. So this is a well laid out plan by Douglas Monzora to grab power within the MDC and Nelson Chamisa and Tokozano Kupe are going to end up losers. I've mentioned this in the past that at the end of the day, Nelson Chamisa and Tokozano Kupe, they would have been better off working together. But because the two of them did not see the bigger plan, the bigger picture, they failed to work together after the judgment. They would have done better if they worked out together because they would have locked out Douglas Monzor. But Monzor has outsmarted both Chamisa and Tokozano Kupe and is now heading to become the next president of the MDC. So as soon as the lockdown is totally over, we're going to see a lot. We're going to see people being recalled. And I hope that very soon I'll be able to bring you some solid evidence of who is going to be recalled and when. There's certain information that I've got that I'm just going to be waiting for clearance to release. And then we all know what exactly is going to happen next. But the truth of the matter is that the dynamics and the balance of power in the MDC has shifted. Nelson Chamisa has lost a chance to take over a united MDC. What we're going to see now is more splits within the MDC. But 2023 is looking more and more like a ZANU PF win than, the, than an MDS, MDC win. If Nelson Chamisa does not try and work this out between now and the time of the Extraordinary Congress. So if I was Nelson Chamisa, what would I do? I would start making plans to go to that Extraordinary Congress. I will start making plans to unite with other people like Tokzani Kupe. This is the only way for Nelson Chamisa to end up as president of the MDC. But the way it's looking now, it's looking like a Douglas Monzora president with Tokuzani Kupe as the vice president. And I don't think that's what Tokuzani Kupe wanted. I don't think she wanted to be the vice president. So this is the current situation as it is. It was just an update. I'll give you more information as soon as I get it. But a massive fallout has occurred between Tokuzani Kupe and Douglas Monzora as Monzora continues to grab power, continues to consolidate his support base within the MDC. Right, that was it for today. I'll be back later. We've got more stories to share. If you're watching this on WhatsApp, please send it to as many people as possible. If you're watching this on Facebook and YouTube, please like, comment, and share.